the Old Town Entertainment District in Kissimmee, Florida. It is actually getting kind of old now, but it's still a classic. day in Kissimmee so I decided to travel down here to the little entertainment district known as Old Town. I remember coming to Old Town when I was a kid so I believe it opened sometime in the mid 1980s and it is still going strong after all this time which is pretty remarkable since there's a lot of newer malls that have already closed down permanently and they just don't have the magic formula here that Old Town has established. What sets Old Town apart is it's patterned after like a 1950s downtown shopping center. So there's a lot of great little boutique shops full of uh, classic merchandise. One of their claims to fame are the glass bottled Pepsi bottles. Now when I was a kid, they used to sell these as glass bottled Coke bottles and they used to sell them for a quarter. But times change and now they are Pepsi bottles and sell for 99 cents, which is still pretty reasonable. There's several nice arcades here as well as a haunted house that's really popular. Old Town also sits next to the Kissimmee location for Fun Spot. You can probably skip that one. That one's pretty terrible. The restaurant options here are so-so. They just opened a new diner and the food looks promising there, but I haven't had a chance to actually eat there yet. So Old Town is located on Highway 192 in Kissimmee. And anytime I talk about 192, I also have to kind of mention International Drive. Highway 192 was the tourism corridor in the 1970s and 1980s. The area where everybody would stay to go to Walt Disney World. And that has shifted since Universal opened on International Drive. Now International Drive, I guess, is the more desirable place to stay when you're in Orlando to go to the theme parks. What's interesting about Old Town is it has kept 192 relevant. I'm convinced that if Old Town wasn't here as a draw, then Highway 192 probably would have been a complete ghost town by now. What ended up being a brilliant stroke of marketing is why Old Town is still thriving. They have a weekly car cruise where most shopping malls turn away the local car crowd. Old Town has embraced it. So they have two weekly car cruises, one on Friday night and one on Saturday night. Now the Friday night car cruise is the one you're seeing right now because I was here on a Friday night. That is dedicated mostly to modern muscle cars. So 1987 and newer cars, that was the focus. The Saturday night cruise is strictly for the traditional classic cars. So any car with model year 1975 or older. Another neat little aspect of Old Town is they actually have live music for the car shows so every Friday and Saturday night they actually have local musicians playing live music for everybody at the car show. Now keep in mind the music selection that they stick to is mostly music from the 1950s and 60s and 70s so you're gonna want to like Motown if you're going to the classic car cruise but it's still a nice little experience you know chewing on a hot pretzel while checking out the latest and greatest cars so what's the bottom line for Old Town and Kissimmee? If you're a car enthusiast, this is kind of a must see. It is arguably one of the best attractions still located on Highway 192. And if you own a classic car and bring it on cruise night, you get the VIP treatment and they let you access areas that aren't open to the general public. So if you're looking for a taste of nostalgia, you really can't miss with Old Town. If you liked today's episode, don't forget to like and subscribe.